Okay, hello grade nines. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty quick day today. I've just got a couple of questions um, that I'm going to sort of do with you and then I'll leave you with uh, a question or two uh, for you to do on your own. Um, so again, there's nothing new today. Most of this unit is kind of re rehashing the previous unit and adding little bits here and there. Uh, so today we're going to talk about changing situations. So like for example, let's say a uh, taxi charged two dollars to get in and 50 cents per kilometer. And then they came out with a, a change uh, in their in their rate, and it was two dollars to get in, plus seventy five cents per kilometer. And so today we're going to talk about what do the graphs look like when they change, um, how does the situation differ when they change, things like that. So first, I've got two graphs here. Uh, one of them ref represents the creature comforts dog kennel, and one of them represents um, Rana's moped rental. Okay, so I'd like you to look at these, read these. I would love for you to pause it here um, and, uh, and answer these questions. The first question is easy. Uh, does each graph represent direct or partial? So please pause, figure out whether each of these is direct, whether each of them is partial, and then unpause. Okay, so this one's direct. It starts at zero, and this one's partial because it doesn't start at zero. And again, we can see that right here. That's zero. That initial value is 35, which is not zero. Okay, I would love for you to pause and try number two. Um, the Creature Comforts dog kennel is 28 bucks a day. Uh, Rana rents a moped. She's charged an initial fee of $35 plus $2 for each liter of fuel consumed. So please pause and try that. All right, hopefully you notice that this is A. Uh, it says here 28 bucks a day, and there's no initial fee. So it's got to be this one. And if you look here, let's say we go up to a nice point, which is right here at 84. Uh, we could look at the rate of change here. The rise would be 84. The run would be 3. And if we did 84 divided by 3, we would get 28, which is what we should get. And obviously that means this is B. Uh, so B here starts at 35. And again, if we wanted the rate of change, we'd pick a nice point over there. Uh, the run would be from 0 to 10. And the rise would be from 35 to 55. So we do 55 minus 35, and we get 20. And the rate of change would be 20 divided by 10, which would be 2. So it checks out. Uh, those are obviously the, uh, the graphs that we're looking for. Okay. Number 3 and 4 and 5. And number 6, you're going to do on your own. Okay. So uh, write an equation for each graph. Okay, um, so they're both cost, right? So for the first one, equation A is going to be C equals. Our rate of change was 28, and it's per day, so let's do N for the number of days, plus the initial value, which is 0. You don't need the plus 0, but why not? Equation B, uh, C equals. Remember, our rate of change is 2. I would love for you to have paused and tried this, as always, plus 30. Okay, number four. Suppose, suppose the daily cost of the dog kennel increases to 30 bucks. How does the graph change? Sketch the new graph and write the new equation. This is what today's lesson is. This question in number five, that's it. So I would really like if you could pause and try this. Okay, so if the daily cost increases to 30 bucks, how does the graph change? Um, the new graph would still start at zero, but it would go up faster, or it would be steeper. And we were asked to graph it, so it's now going to be uh, a rate of change of 30. So let's zoom in here. So the new graph still going to start at zero, but now, for each day, it's going to be 30 bucks. So let's go over one and up to 30. Okay, I don't see 30. So it would be 30, and then 30 times 2 would be 60. Okay, so there's a nice point. And then 90, which I don't see. So 30, 60, 90. 120 is right here. 150 won't be there, but 180 will be. So there's my new line, and I draw it like this. Whoa. 
I draw it like this. About like that. It's uh, it's a little tricky to do on my computer here. Um, but there's the new line. Okay. Let's go back to the question and see what else they want. Or what else I want. I'm the one that did this. Um, all right. So the new equation. So it's still going to be C equals. But now instead of 28N, it's going to be 30N plus 0. But again, I don't need to write the plus 0. Okay, this is the last question coming up that I'm going to do with you. So I am going to make this a little easier to see here. Give us some new space, some more space, sorry. I'll get rid of this question here and put it over here. Okay, when Rana rented a moped, the next year the prices has changed. So this is fairly common, right? You, uh, you come back somewhere and you're like, whoa, this ice cream seems more expensive or whatever. Uh, the initial fee has been reduced to 28, and the price for fuel has increased. So how does the graph change? Well, let's do it in two parts here. So initial fee reduced. So the new graph, if the initial fee is reduced, then it's going to start a little bit lower. So starts lower, and um, price for fuel has increased. So that means it's going to be steeper. It's going to go up faster. Okay, and then we're asked to graph it. So let's do the equation first. So C equals 3N plus 28. So 3N plus 28. So let's get in here. So 3N plus 28. Uh-oh. So our initial value would be 28, so somewhere around here. But the question asked us to use nice points, I believe. Yeah, use only nice points. So we can't use that 28. So let's find some other points. Okay, so let's do N and C. Okay, so 0 is going to be 28. And then for one liter of fuel, it's now going up by three, so it's going to be 31. Two liters, 34. Three liters, 37. Four liters, 40. Okay, there we go. We've got a next nice point. So four and 40. Let's get rid of this because we don't really know that point yet. Um, and let's keep going. So 5 goes up by 3, 43, 6, 46, 7, 49, 8, 52, 9, 55. There we go. We've got another nice point. 9 and 55. Oh, that's not really that nice. It's nice enough. It's nice enough. But let's keep going and find another nice point. So let's see here. Um, let's go up one, two, three, four. Let's go up another five. So if we go up another five, we'll be at 14. And then to get the y value or the c value, we would do 14 times 3 plus 28. Because that's the equation. We get 70. So 14 and 70. That is definitely a nice point. So 14 and 70. And then if I had a ruler here, I would put the ruler along these three points. And look at that. Those three points are perfect. I'll extend the line all the way back to the y-axis. And the initial value for the new one should be 28. And let's take a look. 35, 30. This would be 25. Yeah, that's pretty darn close to being 28. Okay, I feel good about that. And that's it. That's my whole lesson for today, folks. You have one follow-up question, and I'll post the solutions later today. Um, let me do a single page and show you the whole thing. Uh, the cost to buy hot dogs is shown in the graph. There's an initial charge, so figure out the initial charge, plus a cost per hot dog. Um, and I want four things that you can find from the graph. Example, 15 hot dogs costs 25 bucks. I encourage you to find the rate of change in initial value. It'll be very helpful. And then you write an equation. 
if the price of hot dog club changes to five dollars and the price per dog changes to one dollar sketch the new graph and write the new equation if hot dog club is eliminated and all hot dogs are three dollars each sketch the new graph write the new equation and then I want you to tell me which option you would prefer and everyone's answers are going to be different here. If you love hot dogs, you might pick one option. If you're never going to eat a hot dog, you might pick a different option. Okay? And remember, the idea here is that you're going to a baseball game. You remember baseball used to be a sport that was played in the summer before uh, COVID-19. Um, so imagine that you're going, you've got season tickets, and you're going to be at the games all the time. So you only have to pay for hot dog club one time. One time. All right? Imagine you're going to a bunch of games and then answer the questions from there. Okay, folks, good luck. Uh, as always, don't be afraid to reach out if you need some help. And I will be hosting an online help session Thursday at 11 a.m. I hope to see you there. All right, talk to you later.